Hey everybody, Heart Tacticon is back, and I am bringing you the fourth figure in the Transformers Collective Club subscription service 3.0. Yeah, so, who's it gonna be? You probably already know, but let's find out! So before we get into the fun of opening this guy up and playing with toys, I would like to welcome you to my new recording studio. Here it is. Just This is actually just a piece of it. But uh, I have not been doing a lot of reviews recently, not that I do that many, but you haven't seen any reviews in a while is because I've been moving from one little studio to a studio probably three times bigger. So we've got a, a little bit more workspace, display space photo taking space, still green background because it's just awesome. So let's get into this box. Now who's it going to be? I'm pretty late so you already know, but if you don't, it's FOAM! I didn't do that right. FOAM! And it's Tarantulas looking dark as Unicron's black heart. Yeah. So let's pull Tarantulas out. Put him aside for right now. Pull out his little arachnoid buddies. Yeah. Alright. Put throw the box aside. And when you first get arachnid out, right here, his little handlebars are twisted inwards. So just see how there's kind of almost like a plug there. You're just gonna turn it until it plugs into that little hole right there just barely plugs oh, you hear that didn't even hear that one and from there slide his kickstand down sorry slide his kickstand down and there you got tarantulas in his motorcycle mode and here is his little arachnids with little weird spindly legs little drop He's a motorcycle, he's not uh, Hardly even a motorcycle, it's like a dirt bike. Let's fix this. There we go. So, dirt bike tarantulas and his arachnoids. And these guys, when you first get them out of the box, I've got a lot of experience for these little prime arms microns. See, he's got some little legs there you want to flip that down just flip that down to an angle like that make sure his legs are straight out and there you go you got like a little black widow spider or something I guess he just couldn't keep a uh, uh, black arachne around little dream girl so he's got puppies kind of but yeah, here is the fourth figure set. So let's take a look at Tarantulas. And if I called him Arachnid, I am very sorry, but I did. It happened. Get over. So here we have Tarantulas. Looking pretty cool. He is a Trans Tech Maxim uh, Predacon, which means this is how he looked before he was in Beast Wars, when he was still on Cybertron. There's one side of them. There's the front. That's my cat leaving the studio. That's squeaking, opening the door. So yeah, I mean, lots of really, really cool colors going on here. I mean, you got all kinds of purple, lots of purple. You got a really, really nice color green in the, the rims, the motorcycle wheel rims. And a few other spots like right here and uh, right there on the crotch. What's going to be the crotch? And then you got this light Halloween style green and some yellow. Big old Predacon symbol right there, the classic style. Not the prime one. Got some uh, translucent orange right there which you also get some for the uh, light piping. Oops, speaking of, there's the light piping. 
yeah. And um, he rolls really nice. Yeah. So a nice bike. Um, this comes from the Rekgar slash Junk Heap mold from the, the Reveal the Shield line. And I believe the head sculpt, which you will see later, is the Junk Heap head sculpt. And these guys come from... They are... Uh, whenever you bought um, Arachnid from Transformers Prime Arms Micron, you got one of these for her weapon. She works a lot better with two, though, I have to say. But yeah, pretty cool little guy. He's got like a little mono eye. Little green mono eyes and yellow stripes on his back legs. He's got eight legs. He's got one, there's two, there's three, and then four. And then, of course, the same on the other side. So it is a spider, and there he's got mandibles. Chompy chomp. And you get two of them. So that's cool. They're exactly the same looking. Here's the other one in case you don't believe me. And uh, unfortunately there is no official storage for these guys on bike mode. But you know what? It's not going to stop them. They're just going to ride them. Ride them in style. Let's see if we can get this going here. Let's let it spread a little bit. I think that's how I did it. Okay, let me get this guy going first. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, playing with toys, playing with toys. Fun for the girls, fun for the boys. There you go. They can ride on tarantulas. You may think that's stupid, you may think that's cool. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, look at that. They're kind of stable, more stable than his weapon, as you can see. Yeah. Whoops. So, one more time, let me try and put this stupid weapon back on. I'm going off camera for a sec. All right, so he's fixed. And his arachnids are kind of chasing after him. And there we go. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of kind of not Beast Wars line comparisons. I will do a couple. But I don't have a lot of Beast Wars figures. But I do have a lot of the trans tech figures from the uh, Collectors Club and a lot of the newer Beast Wars figures from the Generations line. So, here we have Tarantulas and his Arachnoids. That's what they're called, by the way, is Arachnoids. Okay. And uh, here is the recent... Uh, club incentive figure, or freebie figure, if you want to call it freebie, that's actually what you're paying for in the end, is Leo Prime. I know he's supposed to be called Leo Convoy, but this is America. We call him Leo Prime over here. Whatever. Right? So, that's what he looks like compared to Leo Prime. He's... Leo Prime is freaking small compared to this guy, but he's also a lot wider. You have to forgive me, I'm still getting used to the new camera angle and all that. There we go. There's a grin of the lion. Somehow that sounds like some kind of artsy horror movie title. The grin of the lion. Man, I ain't lying either. <laughs> Who hates me now? Alright. So there is Tarantulas with Leo Prime. And here we got Tarantulas with the trans tech version of Rampage, aka Proto Formex. Let's give a little bit more room here because he's kind of a wide guy, really short, wide guy. So there you go. Take kind of a side view here. Yeah, so because of the height of the motorcycle, um, it just makes it look bigger than all the other figures, but then you do this, and you see how skinny things are. And like I said, I don't really care for this mold. It's really fiddly. I like this figure, but just in general, the mold I'm not crazy about. 
You can see Rampage's little tiny head. So, there are some comparisons for vehicle mode. So, I'm going to get them in robot mode real quick. And we'll check out how it looks like that and do some more comparisons and have fun and all that. So, be back in a sec. Alright, quick update. I just realized while I was uh, about to transform him. The reason why he's not staying on too well, or this weapon is not staying on him really well. Make sure the clip is out. And if you look right there, back there, there's a little clip for that to plug on. So, just want to make sure it's at the right angle, which it is not. To spin it is super articulated. And just kind of plug it in there, I guess. Once you get that on, things will become a lot easier. And sorry if you can't see, I've got to try and get it to where I can see first. So, this will work better. Yes, this will work better. There we go. So I got plugged in. I can plug the wheels in, and it's not going to go anywhere. And from there, just kind of grab it by both pieces or whatever, and just pull. And then you just take this, and you straighten it out. Up. And then you grab one of these and just kind of pull it back. And they're all geared together, I guess, to make this crazy little Ninja Star staff thing. From here, you can grab the clip and just fold it down out of the way. But it also can be used to clip on his back in robot mode. And I'll show that in a minute. So, be back in a sec. And here we have Tarantulas in robot mode. And he's pretty cool looking. Staring at the camera all evil like. There's a little Rackman buddies. Here's his weapon that I put aside. For now, we're just going to see flip him over and see that little notch right there. That's actually a clip. So you can clip it like this, or you can clip it like this. I like to take the clip, wait, wait, there we go. Flip it to where it's in the front and then clip it on there. Super easy. And from there, you can even angle it how you want. That's a kind of standing first. Again, not the best standing mold, but still pretty cool. There we go. Kind of an action pose there, pretty cool. But really, really nice selection of colors. Great paint job. And if they had to use this mold, for, you know, some kind of Predacon or Maximal or Beast Wars character in general. It's probably good for uh, a Tarantulas. I can't think of a better character to use a motorcycle with. Oh, well, except for uh, maybe somebody over here. But that's for later. So, back to Tarantulas. Let's take a look at the head sculpt if my stupid camera will let us. He's got little green pinchers painted on the faceplate. They're not raised at all. They're just painted. Um, black in the middle. Some of that orange transparent uh, plastic. The, you know, this is a very popular color for the trans uh, or for the light piping. But I don't get it. It doesn't glow that much, and it really doesn't look good, in my opinion. See, I mean, it glows a little, but. You know the light shines through it just it looks bland it reminds me of reveal the shield laser optimus and his light piping was just super dark so i actually pulled out the light pipe section out of his head and painted it uh, i can't remember because i'm not using that head i'm using the uh, mock a toys upgrade head so uh, whatever it doesn't matter but yeah there's his head sculpt. Um, he's got that nice deep Halloweeny purple. It is October now. I mean, he looks very Halloweeny actually. You know, they really should have saved this for the fifth figure. 
you know, considering the theme and all. But yeah, very cool figure. He's got the uh, matching yellow stripes on his arms to go with his arachnoid buddy's legs. And they seem to be molded with the same exact color plastic and use the same exact color of yellow. It looks almost orange, almost, on the camera, but it's pretty yellow, as you can see there. His uh, Predacon symbol get, goes upside down in robot mode. I wish they could have figured out something else for that, but whatever. It's not too big of a deal. We've dealt with upside down symbols before. Urge. Yeah, so pretty cool guy. Um, let's take a look at his ar arachnoids real quick. Now I showed you how to bring down all the legs and stuff, but to transform them in one of the many ways you can transform them into a weapon, we're going to go ahead and flip hip, flip, flip hip, flip up his front legs and his next up legs. And then we're going to take this piece, which is on kind of a hinge, so you can flip it up. And there you go, there's one version of the weapon. There is a post right there. There's a post right there you can use. And post on either side. So there's kind of like if you, uh, you either hold them underhanded like that, claw, or overhanded like that for an upward claw, or just take the legs and flip them around like that. Which hides the yellow spi uh, stripes, giving a slightly more unified weapon look. So you got that. You got kind of a pair of grabber pincher things you can do right here. Or you can even do it kind of at an angle. So they could be for grabbing, pinching, or slashing, stabbing, hooking. I guess hooking would be right, the right word. There is another porthole there so you could plug another weapon in between the claws. There's one right there. So you can plug something under it if you wanted to and three on the top. So, let's, uh, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. I'm gonna do him real quick. Oops. And, uh, let's see here. So, you grab Arachnid. and put the first one in the top of his hand just a little bit. Don't push it all the way in, just a touch. Because this doesn't work super great, but it can be done. And then plug the second one into the bottom of his hand. I'm gonna have to turn him around and do this to see. So as you can see, the first one isn't all the way through. I'm going to plug the, well, it's a little further through than I need it to be. And if only one of them is going to be secure and tight, make it the bottom one. But, there you go. He's got a, kind of got like a thing that doesn't work. I'm working on it, people. Come on, give me a break. Oh, crappers. Spider eggs in your eggs. Man. Okay, so, now we got it. Let's see if I can get him standing up and displayed. There we go. So now he's got this super dangerous vice claw grip thing going on. And uh, it also reminds me of, um, here's a figure I'm gonna be comparing him to, uh, Quick Strikes, like spider leg hands. So it's kind of like that. So there's one option you can do. And again, it's very unstable most of the time. Um, one thing that would help is if you go and if you look at the very bottom of this post, there not, might be a little bit of flash left right there. So, you know, maybe sandpaper that down and they'll kind of pinch together a little easier. Mine is pretty well, well, I guess that one's, no, no, yeah. If I start sanding down on it anymore, it'll start uh, taking off the post. But yeah, so like I was saying earlier, you can do it lots of other ways. Let's flip it around. 
I personally think this looks better right here than the over the hand way. So yeah, he's got that. Or it can be like this. Kind of makes me think of the, uh, like the meat hooks that they, uh, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of grabs people with and drags them off. Again, going with the October Halloween -y theme. <laughs> Gotta love Leatherface. So yeah, there's that option. And heck, you can even do it like this. If you so desire. But for my favorite way, I'm doing it like this. Actually, kind of like that. With one. Go. And thinner with the other. Stephen King's thinner. Ah, more Halloween. So yeah, looking pretty aggressive. Looking pretty scary. I would not want to meet this guy in a dark Cybertronian alley. But then again, I'm glad I'm not Cybertron because there's probably no oxygen. So yeah, his arachnoids can be a lot of fun. You can combine them in different ways, get really creative. I'm sure you could still find some of the uh, Arms Micron sets where it's just the, uh, the, uh, the little Micron. So let's uh, pull out his weapon. And of course he can just, just plug his weapon in anywhere. There we go. His waist is really loose, but it's also loose on my uh, Rekgar, so I'm assuming that's just a mold problem. So there he is with his weapon. Get a better angle. That looks pretty menacing. All right, let's uh, get his arachnoids transformed back into spider form. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. So, whoa, almost knocked him over. Now, it is time for a comparison. And I've got a lot of comparisons to do. So, let's get them. All right, first up, let's get some uh, fellow arachnid-based or insect-based classic Beast Wars Predacons. And like I showed you before, here we have Quick Strike. I'm pretty sure this isn't the original color edition. It's some kind of special BS edition, but it's Quick Strike. Yo! And here we have a non-show character. Scarab, if I'm not mistaken. And there they are with uh, Tarantulas. Now, these are more of the, uh, what do they call them? The basics uh, class. So, you know, they're, you know, like good, healthy scout size. So, of course, Tarantulas is going to be much bigger. So that's with some classics Beast Wars characters. And for some more, uh, what you call it, modern Beast Wars characters, here we have Waspinator. Waspinator, the end of his heads, Waspinator. This good head taller than Waspinator. And Waspinator standing straight up. And He's kind of not. 
not perfectly. He's just a little bit hunched over with his leg spread. So he's a good tall figure. Here we have a rat trap. Stop trying to steal a rat trap. I was think it's mice hands out like that. It looks like Jazz hands, which I think is funny. He's a good head and shoulders taller than uh, Tarantulas. And uh, Rustinator from last year's Transformers Collectors Club subscription service. And again, about head and shoulders taller than uh, Tarantulas. And just in case you're curious, because I can't remember if I did this comparison or not, here he is with Generations. Again, his feet suck. But, <laughs> stop it. Thank you. Here he is with Generations Waspinator. So, there we go. Um, and we also got Rhinox right here generations rhinox who uh he's uh right there at that piece of his uh transformation armor whatever let's straighten him up there we go two very cool figures all right and for some more trans tech figures Let's see, here we have him with Rampage, aka Protoform X. He's actually shorter than Protoform X here, by half a head. If I had him perfectly straight and up at attention, he'd probably be the same height. And here he is with Leo Prime. And he's quite a bit taller then. And with Leo Prime standing straight up. Again, uh, he's about from he's right there at his little spider nipples or whatever those things supposed to be. Here we have Depth Charge. Just uh he's about Tarantulas is about here on him, so Depth Charge is just a touch taller. Just a touch. And here we have him with uh, TFCC Transmutate. And that's kind of a tall figure, so of course he's going to be a little bit shorter. It's actually about the same... Transmutate's about the same. No, Transmutate's a little taller than a Depth Charge even, so his head goes up to about where her eyes are. Okay. And finally, here he is with a character that's almost trans tech, but not quite. His G.I. Joe crossover, Serpentor who he is taller than. So, I believe that's all the comparisons. So yeah, really cool bot. Not a super great mold, but really cool paint design and reimagination, reimagination of the character, I guess you'd say. So it's cool. He, um, he He's very poseable. You just gotta figure out how to get that pose locked in. Because, I mean, you just, bam, it's, there goes that pose. It doesn't take much. But, it's not too hard to get them in a different pose. Once you do so. That looks a little funny. Let's put, trying to get kind of a hand on the hip thing going here. There we go. He's just chilling with his axe and his arachnoid pets. Woof woof. Meow. I am not. 
So, uh, that's about all I could say about this figure. Um, we got two more figures to go, Croc and G2 Starscream and a mystery figure. Uh, still don't know who it is. Maybe it's one of Croc's uh, Scavengers buddies. Maybe it's a G2 character to go along with uh, G2 Starscream. Or maybe another Seeker to go along with G2 Starscream. Choices have been narrowed down, but still lots of options. So, until next time, keep on playing with your toys, have fun, and I will see y'all later.